Hi everyone and welcome to my sewing room. I have something to show you that I just discovered about the Brother Design Snap. Okay, so I know that I'm supposed to be the expert and I know a lot of things about um, Brother and Brother sewing machines and their apps, but there is something in the Brother Design Snap app, that's not easy to say, um, at the very bottom that says select image for pattern editing that I've never even touched before because I just, to be absolutely um, frank with you, I... Um, I, I never felt like I knew what it was for, so I didn't do anything with it. I started playing with it the other day, and I thought it was really exciting. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try something new with um, filming the screen on your phone. And I think I'm going to be able to go in and show you exactly what I'm doing with the design snap. And then we'll go to the sewing machine, and I'll show you how to complete it. Okay, what I'm going to do, this is my phone, and I'm going to go into the Google um, search and I'm going to search black and white clip art fairies. I'm going to type that in and I'm going to select it and then you can see here's a whole bunch of black and white clip art fairies that I can go through. And there's a couple of them in here that I really like. Um, I can't find the one I used before but let's just um, let's just choose this one. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to click on this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a screenshot of it with my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this and there, and then I'm going to um, hit done and save this to the pictures. Oh wait, first I got to crop it. So I'm going to crop it, and once I get it all cropped, then I'm going to hit done, and I'm going to go ahead and save that to my phone. There, save to photos in my phone. So there it is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and check the photos part of my phone and make sure I've got it in there. And there they are right there. I actually got two of them because I like the first one that I had. Um, don't look at those other pictures of me. You don't want to see those. Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to open the Brother Design Snap app. And down at the very bottom, see it says Select Image for Pattern Editing, this one right here. I've never used it before, so I thought I would give it a try, and I clicked on it. And when I clicked on it, what happened was it opened up my pictures in my phone. So I was able to pick this fairy. So once I chose the fairy, I said Send it to the machine. And that's all there is to it. It's sent it to Design Center as long as you're set up for um, sending things to your sewing machine. Okay, so I'm in front of my um, Solaire sewing machine and I'm going to go into my Design Center. And I'm going to, before I choose the picture that I want to do, I want to change this because you know it defaults to satin stitch. And if I set it for a running stitch right now, then I don't have to change it afterwards when I bring the design in. So remember, you're going to pick the right leaf, which is the line drawing leaf, and you're going to hit your wireless. And then we're going to choose this first one. And voila, there's our little fairy. That wasn't easy, wasn't it? So I'm able to bring her in and I need to move this arrow just a little bit because their wing got cut off. And then I'm going to um, see it says line right there, so I know it's going to do an outline. So that's good. Um, there's a couple of things I need to do once I hit set. Is First things first, I need to remove the background so there I can see her. Um, there's a camera down here that it got, so I'm going to hit erase. And I'm going to erase that part. I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to get in close and I want to erase her eyes because they didn't come in very good. And there's a couple little specks on here that I think are supposed to be the wand, but I want to get rid of those too. Um, if I get in really close, let's move the little red box over here. Her hand here is really bad. So I've got the eraser. I'm going to make it tiny. Let's maybe make it even tinier so it's really tiny. And then I'm going to erase this part right here. Now, if I want to see what it should have looked like, 
I can push this over and I can kind of see what that arm should have looked like. Um, so I'm going to hit the pencil and I'm going to redraw this. And I can hit the plus a little bit more and hit the eraser again. Make sure it's really tiny. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I erased more than I wanted to. That's okay. I'm going to hit the pencil and I'm going to draw her arm back again where it belongs. And I'm going to connect these lines here. There. Um, so this picture needs a lot of work. So if I get back up here to, here's her bodice right here. This is gonna have to be cleaned up. This one here. So check it and make sure because this one did not copy in here as good um, as I would like it to, but it's a, it's a beginner, you know? Sometimes you're just like, I can't think of what I wanna do, but this will get me started and I'll end up with something really cute. So I'm gonna close as many parts as I can. I'm gonna check her face to make sure it's closed. Yeah, I thought so, this needs to be closed here. So if I hit the pour button and I choose a flush color and say okay, and then touch it. Ah, her face filled in, that's good. So once I do that, I wanna move the box over, maybe hit minus so I'm a little bit, I wanna redraw these eyes. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna hit the paintbrush. I'm gonna choose black say okay and then i'm just going to paint an eye right here and an eye right here maybe undo that let's try it again i like that better now i'm going to go in here and i'm going to choose white and say okay and make sure that my paintbrush is really tiny okay and then I'm just gonna put a dot there and a dot there so I got some highlights in her eyes um and then as I said before your this picture takes is going to take a little bit of cleaning up because it's not where I would want it to be her waist right here I can see a mistake right there but once I know it's cleaned up the way I want it to be hit pour um take your time fill each part in if it doesn't fill in the way you want it to fill in then change it make it a little bit different um I didn't like the way that did that so I'm going to go up here I'm going to hit the pencil and mark that off right there and that way when I fill this is just that part and this part ha 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 her dress is filling in nicely okay minus it out so you could fill in each little part of her and make her look really pretty i want to show you what i did because i did this beforehand so i'm going to hit all clear okay and then i'm going to bring in from the memory of my sewing machine this fairy all finished doesn't she look cute um obviously i forgot to erase that part when i did it before but i think she came out really cute i really like the way she is so you see how easy that was and if you need some help um learning how to fill in this i've got a couple different videos that show you how to do this but this one was really quick and easy and you can see when you get to this part right here we're going to hit next and i'm almost positive that um i have some of the outline that didn't come out right because the first time I did this I didn't select all for the outline so wow there that's the part that I want to make sure is all outline. And then this here, I have to make sure is outline. That one is a satin stitch. So you can see where you make a mistake, you have to go ahead and, and fix it and change it back to a running stitch. And you can do it one step at a time. So if you ever do that, just check it through here make sure everything is coming that's a satin stitch 
So turn it. So I'm not going to sit there and do each one of them that I made a mistake on, but you can see how easy it is to just go back and change it. Let's do that one's a satin stitch. So another lesson learned about this is do it at the beginning. <laughs> you don't have to do it at the end. I'm going to hit preview and I know that when it comes up, it's got some satin stitching where I don't want them, but that's okay. I want you to see kind of what I ended up with. Obviously, I got to change her mouth and I forgot to erase that. And I got a couple little specks here, but it looks pretty good. So um, that is basically how I made this little fairy. Okay, so that's basically as easy as it is. And yes, sometimes I feel like I'm kind of a dumb dumb and there's some things I don't know because I've learned almost everything I've learned about the design snap I've taught myself and I just didn't know what it was for. I think that last part in the design snap is for the way the picture shows is for um, taking a picture of some fabric that you see and then you wanna make an embroidery design from the fabric. That's pretty cool, but this is even cooler because we all know that there are some times when you just can't get a design onto somewhere that you can scan it with the hoops. So this is a really great way for you to make an embroidery design without having to even take it off your phone. So hopefully you learned something new and you had a good time watching it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.